My name is Doug Wormatso. I'm a fly tire and fly fisherman. I've been for probably 30 years. I've been a fly tire for longer than that. I started tying when I was 12 years old. This fly we're going to tie is called the Purple Veil Damsel. And it uh, imitates the damsel larva. It's a 52-62 Tiemco hook. It's uh, 2x long. Pinch down the bar before I put it in the vise. So it, uh, in case I break the point off, it's not after winding a lot of stuff on the hook. Start off with uh, thread. This is olive colored thread, uh, ultra thread, 140 denier. I got a good thread base. Jam the thread on. Tying a good thread base on prevents the material from twisting around while you're tying it in. We're going to use a dry fly type hackle for this so it bristles out and tie it in the round. So to get it to sink, whoops, what happened there? Did you see what happened, Daddy? No. We're using 15,000 lead wire, about four or five turns, just so it'll break the surface tension of the water. Otherwise, it'll float like a dry fly. Originally, I used uh, soft webby hackle, but uh, it mats down up against the hook and makes the fly look a lot fuller than it should. The actual damsel larvae are pretty skinny. Most of the ones I have seen are between an three quarters of an inch and an inch long. Uh, this fly is going to be a little over an inch long. Next, this is uh, platinum colored wire. It's silver wire, gold wire, doesn't matter. It's more for durability than anything else, providing durability to the fly. I'm using a material now that's not available any longer. It's called Chickaboo. It's a grizzly dyed uh, golden olive. But you can use marabou, grizzly marabou. Use the tips. Like I said, they, the nymphs are pretty skinny. So you don't want a bulky tail that actually represents the abdomen of the, the insect. secret to this fly is the purple veil, and the purple veil is provided by angel hair. Three strands on each side. Any more, and it seems to scare the fish away. It's not very durable. When you're tying it, so you have to pull it around pretty gently. It into where you tighten the tail, clip it off so there's just a little longer than the tail material. Apply a little dubbing wax to the thread. And for the abdomen, use Angora Goat dyed light olive. Spin the dubbing onto the thread. About midpoint on the shank. And then tie in with the legs. I tie the legs in the round. This is uh, 
olive saddle hack with dial, dyed uh, golden olive. Are you going through the some more dubbing wax. Some more of the Angora gold. The secret to spinning this on is not, not to spin it too much, otherwise it spins right off the thread. through about three times, three and a half here. And I undersized the hackle, it's a number 12 book, and the uh, hackle is actually made for a 16. That is to represent the legs. The larva, to wind the wire through the body, through the hackle, and tie it off of the head. I just clip it with these flush cutting wire cutters. Oh, you do? Oh, cool. Are you going by yourself? The uh, veil uses an attractant to get the fish close. And, uh, almost non visible at all until it hits the water in broad daylight. And the fly is done.